A lot of stuff's gonna happen this weekend uh, in the world of sports, and the first thing in mind, it's the Montreal Canadian Max Pacioretty. Can't yeah. believe I'm gonna say that. He's injured, and that's a good news. Well, it's a good news because Pacioretty feared worse, the Canadians feared worse. He hasn't had a significant knee injury. He didn't know exactly what it was. He thought it could have been bad. In the end, it's a hamstring strain. He's gonna be out for three weeks. Three weeks, nine, ten games, it's okay. You can you can get by without your best point getter for the last two years by missing nine or ten games. Add to that the fact that the Canadians are playing at home. Add to that the fact that the Canadians are playing against weaker opposition over the next week, week and a half here. So you're, they're going to ask a little bit more from Galchenyuk. They'll ask a little bit more from even Mikel Bernival, who can play left wing. Yeah. Rene Bork, the Canadians will be able to get by, and this is a big, big bullet that they dodged. Tony, who is, who, who are right now your best player with the Montreal Canadian? It's Carey Price and Piki Subban and Galchenyuk. Right there, you have the, your answer. Canadian can go through this uh, three weeks and even four weeks uh, without the Max Pacioretty because Carey Price play different. He play like he, uh, he has more confidence in himself and give confidence to everybody else in front of him. More awake, uh, more alert, he's, more focused, he's more moving, concentrated. He's moving and his concentration. I'm at the Bell Center. You are. Yeah. He's different. He's even different between the whistle. He's focused and uh, I like what I see. Remember right last now. year with the puck behind the net, he would crouch down and he would stay down for a long time. He's now he's standing, standing up. up a lot more and he's moving side to side. He's looking... He's much more engaged. I mean, you know, he's exerting himself a lot more than he did a year so, ago, but he's better. Price is the man right now. Yes. Subban is the man. And uh, Galchenyuk can take the load as a first left winger. That's why the Canadians are going to go through with no problem at all. I'm not talking even about 500 uh, record. I'm talking about a great record for the Montreal Canadiens, even if Pacioretty is not there. We look Ta forward to it. Talk about P.K. Subban. Is he one of your three first right-hand shot on Team Canada? Are you kidding me? He's number one. Even before, uh, in front of uh, Weber and Dyer? Bay Bay Bayouis better than those guys right now. Hey, look, if I'm Team Canada, the guy won the Norris last year. The guy was unbelievable in preseason. The guy's been unbelievable so far this season. The guy is a leader on the ice. The guy is dynamic. The guy's got a blast from the point in the power play. He's a great skater. He's great in transition. I mean, he's the entire package right now. He's got 10 points and is second in the National Hockey League, right behind Sidney Crosby. P.K. Subban was the best defenseman in the world last year, and he's the best defenseman in the world thus far this season. Knowing that, he'd be the number one guy on my list. Wait, wait, that's my pad. I, sorry about that. All right, I agree with everything you said. I but, that is. But, yeah. there's a but, a big but. If you ask me who's going to win the Norris this year, P.K. Subban's my pick. But as, uh, is P.K. Subban is the first right-in shot. If you know Team Canada, all they work right now. Weber is coming back from last time. And even Drew Doughty, they are wow. the first two right hand shot. If that's the way they work, they work me, wrong. Let me let me talk. And I'm going to go further than that. There's uh, on 24 CH. You're gonna if you have the the clip you know, on your uh, on your desk right now. There's a clip of Michel Therrien yelling at PK Subban because he's not satisfied the way he's playing right now. And that's the game at the Calgary. Do you think coach have time on the short tournament to give crap to our to their D men because they do? Great stuff in offense, and sometimes they take too much risk in defense. That's why PK is going to be not the first one, not the second one, but the third one on the right side from Team Canada. And it's very good. You know why? Because PK Subban, and we never had that before in Montreal, mm -hmm. is going to be the best defenseman in the hockey league, in the NHL, in the world. But it's not right now. Uh, Weber and uh, Dottie are in front of him. You can tell Michel, Ter Michel Terry in that game in Calgary, P.K. Subban picked up one goal and one assist. And if he didn't play the way he played, they would have got shut out 3-0. Yeah, but he cost some goals. Uh, All, right. All right, talk to me about soccer. Yes, sir. What's going on with the impact? They can win. It's unbelievable. I mean, right now they've really hit a wall. They've lost five of their last six games. The other game was a tie. They were eliminated from CONCACAF they Champions don't score? League. They don't score. They've been kept off the score sheet for three straight games. Marco Di Vaio's in a little bit of a slump here. And you can tell that the other teams have figured it out. Their offensive weapon is Marco Di Vaio. They don't have an attacking midfielder who's feeding him the ball. They don't have a second forward who's feeding him the ball. Mm. You put two guys on Di Vaio and all of a sudden the impact, they're in trouble. Marco Shalibam, if he made one mistake thus far this season, it was mismanagement of the use of his players. The veterans played way too much early on in the season. The youngsters didn't play enough. The veterans have hit a wall. The youngsters had to play in some key games here. He's got to go with his veterans again tomorrow on Saturday. And this is a huge game. If they lose this one, it's a huge collapse. Only thing I can say about the impact, and tell me if I'm right or wrong. Anyway, you're my reference when we talk soccer. 
when it, it should be a reference when we talk sports. No, you should be you should Thank be you. you should be listening to me when I talk about hockey or baseball Thank and stuff you. like that. But uh, what I was saying is, I'm tired to hear Shalibam yapping, yapping, yapping. Yeah, I guess his players are can't stand the guy anymore. You cannot. I wouldn't say can't stand. It's a big word, but you cannot preach discipline to your players when you, as a coach, have been ejected from four games. You think not he only went too that. Far? Yeah, I think he went too far. A referee's not going to come back on his decision. No. The, you know, the, nowadays, the way it works, you pull the referee aside, you talk to him like a gentleman. It works a lot better than actually trying to humiliate him in front of 20,000 people. Nowadays, if calls are 50-50 and 60-40, they're going against the impact. They're a target. There's no doubt in my mind. All right. Can they do it uh, Saturday? I think they can do it Saturday. But if they don't do it Saturday, I got to tell you, this team needs a major shock. Between now and then, something has to happen. A declaration, a roster move, something. Can't wait to see what's going to happen Saturday, but can't wait for Sunday. If there's only one game you can watch this weekend because your wife doesn't want you to watch too much sports oh, on TV, yeah. there's only one. It's Sunday night, uh, Vitar, 8 o'clock. Yes, sir. Broncos, Peyton Manning going back to Indianapolis face, uh, Andrew Luck and the Colts. Well, look, Peyton Manning right now is absolutely unbelievable. Every single week, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get three or four touchdowns minimum. You're going to get something special. You are seeing one of the best quarterbacks of all time, if not the best. I think he's the best. I don't care that he has one Super Bowl. There are others that only have one or two, and they're considered even great as well. He's fantastic. The problem is Indianapolis really didn't impress me one week ago against the Chargers. I know they're going to be better, but Peyton's going to go into Indy, but and he's Peyton, going to win this game. Peyton and Broncos have some miss against the Jaguar, Jacksonville Jaguars, so it's even... Uh, uh, they different. were just toying with them. If uh, they wanted to kill them, they could have. All right. So if I'm the Colts, I'm going to run over, the, try to run over the Broncos to keep uh, Manning on the sideline. And uh, yeah, Richardson now can do the job. So I hope they're going to do that. I hope because it's uh, the Colts are the underdog. I'm a big fan of the underdog. And Andrew Luck, I'm a very, very big fan of the guy. So can't wait to see a good game. I don't know if they're going to win, but I hope we're going to have a great game on Sunday. What was that comment about if your wife doesn't want you to watch football on Sunday? Uh, not my. Hey, in my house. You're the boss? I'm the boss. Uh, in my like house. That. How do I do it? There we go.